So the tank is basically like a pattern, but without the armor, right? So and uh, with a huge, huge weak point, a huge uh, weak point on the, all the everything below the turret, and then the turret is a huge weak point. So happy days. It does seem that a lot of people don't know what they're doing, so at least that should hopefully work. Still, no. That was a good. Uh, and the. F Ah, this is so bad. No, so this is this is basically just game over for me. Hi guys, today everyone who logs in the game will receive a free garage slot and some really nice credits from World Gaming. So let's open this uh, gift right now and see what Uncle Vinny has brought to us. All right, uh, so let's claim this vehicle. Ho 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 is the pattern, the tank. So this is basically a pattern without anything that makes the pattern good. Uh, it's a tank that has an awful damage per minute, some excellent uh, dispersion if you're uh, inclined to miss all the time, some uh, okay gun uh, aiming time, some okay uh, some really good actually uh, gun depression some horrible uh, dpm uh, pretty standard average damage some average damage uh, uh, penetration at tire 9 and then you have some uh, decent hp uh, uh, hp uh, points or pull then you have an awful turret and everything that you're gonna get pain through anyway with a horrible uh, weak point on top and then you have some really mm, okayish top specific power but remember this is a medium tank so it's a horrible weak, uh, specific power with um, 40, 40 kph top speed and then you have some good travel speed the tank has also extremely average view range and you have a horrible camel so let's see what we can put on this tank in order to make it a little bit better. All right, so I will be using my pattern crew over here, uh, which is the best that I have. So the DPM is going to go to 0.7k, which is okay, let's say. The dispersion is just a tiny bit better with some better aim time. Um, I don't really expect this tank to be very to do very well in the game, but Hopefully the improved dispersion values will at least allow me to shoot at some things, right? I'll also take some uh, healthy APCR uh, rounds. Just a little bit more. And um, let's see how a battle looks like in this aspect. Although from what I've seen and I've heard, uh, this this is a real free garage slot. So uh, if you remember uh, Wargaming... NA who did that uh, really cute video a few years ago uh, telling us that uh, we got a new garage slot for, for Christmas Alright, so now let's see what this baby can do in an actual battle So everyone is going to that side, I'm gonna go on the other side I know that everyone is going to the city but uh, I don't know. I, mean, I just want to try my luck on this on this side. So the tank is basically like a pattern, but without the armor, right? So and uh, with a huge, huge weak point, a huge uh, weak point on the all the everything below the turret, and then the turret is a huge weak point. So happy days. Okay, so we're seeing a new uh, another pattern tank on the, uh, on that side. Let's see if I can shoot that guy. Alright, so I did manage to shoot this guy. No. 
and I did bounce from the tank. Alright, so the first battle tank has been uh, sighted and it wasn't pretty. I think I do need to fall back though. So we did do a few a bit of damage to the Patton tank on that side. I mean there's a whole bunch of Patton tanks right now. And I actually managed to hit this uh, LD over here. So the way I'm playing this game... Oh my god. This, this dispersion is something else. Yeah. So another good shot towards that uh, enemy pattern. Well, on the bright side, if everyone's shit, then you're in the king of the shit game. Come on, my friend. Just a little bit back. I don't know why, but everyone looks like a bot to me today. On the bright side, when everyone is playing a bad tank, then no one is, is, does have a really good advantage. It's like World of Tanks from 10 years ago, right? No one knows how to shoot, no one knows how to pen, no one knows how to do anything. And actually bounce the shot, which is actually impressive. The chieftain is gonna have a field day over here. Of this, I can assure. And I missed over here. I'm just gonna stay over here for now. Okay, so one pattern down. A few extra patterns to go. So, um, yeah. It's a decent first battle, let's say. But uh, I did play extremely safe. I do mean extremely. Okay, so now the chieftain had uh, has uh, confirmed the kill, and we can advance a little bit. I'm pretty curious to see the final game stats. See if whether uh, this tank. Why are people st staying like that? Probably because there are some other people who really don't know how to play the game, because otherwise I can't really explain it. Still, 3.5k damage in the first game ever in the pattern. I'd say this was a success. But, let's take into account the fact that this game was played against patterns. So. I have to say this was a pretty enjoyable first game though. So is it a uh, garage slot? Yes it is because you saw how bad the other tanks were. Uh, we'll have to see some, some extra gameplay just to be... to have a better picture of the tank. For now uh, this wasn't that bad. The main issue is I don't really have good, um, good mobility. I can't really advance to get this final shot, right? I should have maybe pulled a little bit faster, but at the same time, when you see such a tank, then uh, you're not really going to do too much. Three badge, class three, so I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, finished fo uh, fourth, fifth on uh, experience, and then uh, third on damage. I never actually uh, fired the uh, the heat rounds. How fast are those? Uh, it's basically the same speed, so yeah, nothing special over here. So basically, use the HP, uh, the AP, if you think you can pen the, the enemy tank, and if not, and then the uh, heat is just as well. Whenever there's uh, any, uh, I don't know. The, any surfaces which are uh, really well sloped, then you should hit, you use hit. Otherwise, the AP should just, just be fine. Now the problem is over here. If I go on this bush, I don't have any camo, so 
I'm gonna get outspotted by anything, right? So the good thing is that most enemy patterns should uh, also be easily spotted by my tank. I'm just gonna fall back a little bit, just wait, chill, take a pill. I should have uh, just fired. Yeah, there's there's that guy over there. Let's just uh, fire and wait. I'm gonna get outspotted by uh, this guy. No? Well, I think that guy just left the building. I mean, come on, Patton. You wanted to come. Just one more second. Oh my god. So we do have a live one over here. Uh, this is unfortunate because I actually took a shot, which isn't ideal. I did bounce one. Holy! Yeah. <laughs> oh. This tank, mate. It's just your special snowflake. I'm gonna load some gold in anticipation to fire against the FV. Maybe I'll actually get a shot in. It does seem that a lot of people don't know what they're doing, so... At least that should hopefully work. Uh, just fall back for a little bit. Ah, the gun dispersion, mate. Just the gun dispersion. It isn't good at all. Still, if you do fire some gold, you can get nice pants. Yeah. No. That was a good... Uh, And the fire. I'm pretty happy with the beginning of the game. At least. Damn that! 105 actually gets my number each and every time. Pretty pissed about this one. I don't know how this FV um, bounced two times out, out of me, off of me. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and fight against that guy. It's not a great, great thing to do. Although, if he does fire again... Can we actually get something? I'm going to go after that AMX. I do expect him to climb a little bit and try and be a prick. Although this isn't great. And there's another pattern tank. And I actually miss. This is definitely not great. Yeah, the E15 just fired at me. I need to go now. Okay, fair enough. Oof. Almost safe. If we can use this hull for our advantage, there's another pattern over here. Can he 
died in the most awkward position ever. So let's just push him a little bit. Get a bit of extra armor between us and the enemy tanks. Can't we see? Still, this wasn't bad. That guy did uh, fall back a little bit. Unfortunately, we are gonna get flanked right now, so uh, there's not much that I can do. This is so bad. No. So this is this is basically just game over for me. It's a bit unfortunate. Whenever you get spotted with this tank, you can't really do anything. It's just how it goes. I was thinking about going on the other side, but this is definitely not gonna happen. So my best bet is if the our guys manage to actually cap the enemy base. Otherwise, this this is a loss. This is definitely a loss. That guy died in the worst possible position. So uh, just cap. Just cap, please. Okay, at least we hopefully get another win over here. Okay, fair enough. So, yeah. The Patton tank, what do you think about it? Well, it's a tank that you need to play uh, like a glass tank. You don't have any kind of armor, you're big, uh, you can't take a joke, and uh, you don't really have a good gun. So basically you need to play it like a, an E50 without the gun. So, or, I don't know, like a VK. You know those VK 2 d yeah, that's, that's the type of tank this is. It just has some better penetration. And otherwise, this is basically like a VK uh, D. You'll do a bit of damage. Uh, you'll do some good stuff over here. And um, you can actually bounce a few shots. So, as you saw, the tank isn't that horrible if you focus on one, one thing that it's good about or that you want to improve so you can actually shoot the gun reasonably well if you have a good crew and you're using everything to minimize the the dispersion because the dispersion is the the one thing that actually isn't great about the tank you need to to improve the dispersion there are a lot of better tanks that you can play but uh, imagine that you're in a, a, a sniper tank that can't really snipe and use it as a support tank. So this is basically a support tank for other better tanks, right? A support tank that you can use a reasonable a reasonable uh, gun with a bit of uh, DPM over here um, in order to uh, do a bit of damage and try and influence your game. So right now I do have four battles with uh, an average of 2.7k uh, damage and uh, 1.3 received so i don't think that the tank is that bad honestly 
it's not that bad i did on two occasions more than three damage with it so the guns alpha allows you to actually get a few shots nice shots in and you also have the pat on the tank written all over it so um, yeah that that's kind of what i think about the tank uh thank you very much for uh, watching this one if you did enjoy the content uh, please go and uh, see some other tanks that play similarly so basically the um, the leo one right because the leo, this is basically like a leo one without with a bigger profile and uh, with a worse gun and worse dpm so you have all the, the disadvantages of the leo one so namely no armor um and all none of the advantages so basically you only have good pen right that's it so thank you very much and uh, see you in the next one bye now